Please eat it so our hopes don't get destroyed. Kayla's already like, yeah. Comment down below and don't break my heart. Going to Aiden's appointment. But I'll let you guys know what they tell me, what they say, and will there ever be a light at the end of the tunnel for the headaches that Aiden has? So while the kids are playing, I thought I'd take a minute and tell you guys kind of what happened today at Aiden's doctor's appointment. So we are eating lunch. And this is where we're eating. Can you guys see? Eating at Shake Shack. Are you ready to eat, man? Kayla wanted to get a picture real quick and they're cooking your fries. It'll be out in a minute, okay? So lunch was amazing as always. Now, me and Kayla are trying our best to eat gluten free. And we were just talking. I'm obsessed with the cheese sauce. That's really the only reason I come here. Yeah, it's I don't really, really good. I don't I'm not a real big burger eater. I do love burgers, but I don't it's not my go to. It's not like all. we come here just for the burgers. <laughs> Any restaurant really. And the fries with the cheese sauce is why I come here. On the website, they claim they have nothing that's gluten-free. I'm thinking they're even saying the fries, but I would feel like the fries wouldn't come in cross-contamination unless they're using the fries with their chicken they're frying. And but the I would, portobello I, mushrooms they fry. Yeah, but I would think with as many fries as they're serving, it's a dedicated fry fryer. Does that make sense? You would think so, I don't know. But does anybody know if the cheese sauce is gluten-free? Please say it is so our hopes don't get destroyed. Kayla's already like, yeah, I don't think it was gluten-free. Because if we eat gluten, we instantly normally know, like our throat gets kind of <clears throat> like, I tight. Like I have to keep clearing it. Yeah, that's my telltale. If I eat something, I'm like, oh my gosh, that should have been gluten-free. But if it came in contamination with, or cross-contamination with something else or whatever, I think that... I instantly know because my throat gets really tight. We ate something the other day that I thought was gluten free, and I looked at her and I said, That was not gluten free. The candy pumpkins that are like we candy could, corn. Yeah, we couldn't figure out if they were gluten free. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. And as soon as I ate them for a little bit, my throat instantly got tight. I, I was said, fine. Mm, I think there was gluten in but it. But when I ate the MMs, I know they're gluten free. When I ate those, I'm thinking it's the chocolate because I've always had like an issue kind of with like chocolate. Well, you know, it's just like eating ice cream. And ice, ice cream, cream can be yeah. gluten free, but make sure you know, just like I guess um, the milk aspect yes, of it. Lactose. Yeah. But anyway, lunch was good. That was a lot of rambling about nothing. But if you know if the cheese sauce is gluten free or not, comment down below and don't break my heart because I have a bad feeling it is not gluten free. But I feel okay right now. <clears throat> but I'm <I've> not <laughs> stop. But I've been clearing my throat kind of like all morning because we jumped up, literally jumped up, got dressed and left trying to come eat before his appointment. Guys, And yeah. before the rush got here because they're already starting to line up again. We rushed for food, literally. We did, which is so sad because I really want to start eating better. And I, you know, posted on my Instagram that I'm going to start working out and trying to stay away from some of the temptations. And I haven't done terrible. And like I said, it's baby steps. I'm not expecting to go tomorrow and just start eating nothing but salads. It's just not going to happen because you won't stick to it. Yeah. If you can't still enjoy some of the pleasures in life, it's not any fun. Do you know what I mean? So, right now we are actually leaving from the restaurant and going to Aiden's appointment. Aiden and hey, Briley are back in the back. Hey, guys. I need to ask you something. Yes. Do I have to do school today? Um, I haven't made that decision. It depends on how long we're at your neurologist. Okay, but... Briley's already been doing school today. If we're not too... If, if it's haven't not... Haven't you? Yeah. Okay. If it's not too long, am I... Knowledges. Can we? Can we <laughs> My knowledge. My Can we go to the park? We'll see. Okay. 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 Because it is a very pretty day today. Yeah. But he has a neurology appointment. I said that in yesterday's vlog. I'm not sure what they're going to do today. Um, I'm kind of wanting to. Part of me wants to request an MRI to be done, just to make sure there's nothing going on. But you know, most neurologists will tell you that if kids are having headaches, depending on where the headache is, and the type of headaches. I mean. They can tell you what type it is and if it's really a need for an MRI. So, really not sure what they'll do today. Probably not much of anything. But we are going to talk about that. But I'll let you guys know what they tell me, what they say, and will there ever be a light at the end of the tunnel for the headaches that Aiden has. So, the doctor appointment is over. We decided to come on a little nature walk. Aiden wanted to go to the park today, so that's kind of the plan. Once we get settled, I'll tell you guys how his appointment went.
so while the kids are playing, I thought I'd take a minute and tell you guys um, kind of what happened today at Aiden's doctor's appointment. We went and they did a lot of testing as far as like muscular kind of um, sensory type tests. And she said he passed all of those with flying colors, that there's nothing wrong with him as far as that goes, that she truly believes he is just experiencing migraines. We're hoping that eventually they will go away because I do feel like they're better. We weren't vlogging when they were at their worst. I mean, it was so bad. It was like a daily sometimes. Just from what you guys have seen, they're better. Um, they're much better. I know, Bradley's ankle's hurting. So she prescribed him a nasal spray that when he's having a migraine, he can use. But I asked her about the side effects and she said that you can experience like throat and chest tightening. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest with you, because that would scare me because I would be worried he's going through like anaphylaxis or something. <laughs> so she did tell me, you know, just there's some foods that could be triggering it. She gave me a whole list of those. So we're gonna try to eliminate all those foods and slowly add them back in to see if any of that triggers it. Now me personally, I don't think food is a trigger, but a food definitely can be like not benefiting the situation. I feel like it might contribute to it. So maybe changing the food, but like even coming outside playing, he has a hard time with. Now today it's not humid. He might be okay. We may end up with a headache tonight. I won't know and that's what I told her. I said it's so sporadic, you know, random. One day he has and one day he doesn't. So that's kind of where we are, but she thinks he looks great. She believes he's just suffering from migraines and she believes he'll outgrow it. So that's a blessing. Um, as far as mom goes, let me tell you something. I didn't mention it, but while we were eating at the Shake Shack, I sat down and when I stood up, I had this really bad like catch in my lower back. And ever since, I can hardly stand up or stretch my back out. I didn't lift anything. So I'm like, what's going on with me? So when we get home from the park, I'm gonna go home and put on a heating pad on my back because it is killing me. I see, be careful please. Oh, do you guys have an obstacle course going on? Riley, is that what y'all are doing? Yeah. Are you losing? Yeah. You would have been winning if you hadn't waited for him. But you're a good big sister and you waited. Yeah, this is oh yeah, he's so she's been, so fast and I can't he's a quick boy, but um, she's been complaining about the back of her ankle. It's really red. It's been bothering her now for a couple weeks, so we're not really sure what's going on, but I told her maybe it's just her shoes rubbing on the back of it because you wear low-cut socks. Maybe, honestly, you should try to avoid those shoes for a while just to see if it gets better. Wear higher socks or something. She's down here. <laughs> oh, look at your hair. Your hair's all staticky. But yeah, so we might be going back to another doctor to take Riley because I'm not sure what it is. We're going to get it checked out though if it doesn't go away. But maybe try some different shoes for about two weeks or at least a week. Your hair is hilarious. Look, your hair is too. I mean, your hair is staticky. Is it? Yeah, look at the camera. Just from walking out here? Yeah. I don't think it looks like hers. That is, really is it? Maybe it's just walking out here on this mulch. I don't know. But Kayla's hanging out, just all to herself. Are you ready to go? Kayla is not a net, like an outdoor nature girl. I'll play soccer outside. And that's about it. That's about it. Or the beach. Or, or riding bikes. Riding we were bikes. just talking yes. about that. We need to get our bikes I'm out. I'm just not a fan of like spiders and bugs that could possibly get in my hair because no. I had like a weird experience one time and I don't think we've ever told you guys. Well, are you, I don't know. At our old about. house when I took down my hair. Oh, so yeah. I don't know how it happened but it was like the summer we were just starting school and my hair was wet because I used to sleep with my hair up wet all the time and when I took my bun off I like did this motion or this <laughs> motion and when I did it literally something flew out of my head and mom goes what was that? I'm it like, hit the wall like I don't hard. know and I look on the ground it's like a bug this long. Yeah, I did, but 
in my hair. We're not really sure how it got there. It was like a, a worm. It was disgusting. It was weird. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, the thing had babies in my hair. I'm going to be no, like a nest for animal. Not. Oh, a nest for insects. It was horrible. I hated it. So I'm not an outdoor person. Yeah, she's not. And <clears throat> I'm not 100% an outdoor person either. But I do love riding bikes and going on nature walks when it's a pretty day. But it's very humid here in North Carolina. But today is awesome. It and, feels good. It's yeah. not humid. It's nice. And I just have bad sinuses and stuff. So yeah. I just... I don't know. Well, you heard the doctor it. say today something about sinuses could cause headaches. It's probably why she always has them. I swear, I keep a headache. So I'm like, Aiden probably got it from one of us because mama had headaches a lot when I she did. was growing up. And ever since I was like teenager years until now, I just like keep a headache all the time. But I'm sure it's probably like, it probably was a lot to do with gluten too. Could have. Because foods can definitely trigger headaches. And There's a I lot of foods on sinuses, that list. So it's probably all it is. Probably. Where are you going, A? <laughs> Can't run because of your ankle. Yeah. I'm not gonna be running so fast I can't grab me. When I start running, like, I don't know, it's like it's weird when I go like this. Is when it hurts or when I go like that. It's when it hurts. And when you touch it. Mm hmm. It's sore. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but. I don't know. Do you need some water? No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. We are home now and I actually changed into something more comfortable. I'm on a heating pad. I have it going right now. I put a little hair bow on here so it holds it down because it's one of those ones you can sit and hold and then when it gets hot you just release but I'm too lazy so I have it hooked up like that. Aiden's enjoying a little snack of tortilla chips and we're getting ready to work on his audition because we have to film it. What is it? I just thought what would be good with it. What would be good with it? I could get my sauce for the fries and then put it in a bowl and then... Mmm. That would be good. I was probably... He's saying what would be good with these. He said, we need some salsa, Mom. When Brawley, when Brawley comes down here to fix my sweet tea, mm -hmm. I'll ask her if she'll give me a bowl of some. That will be good. Okay. So we are going to um, not film yet. We're going to practice Aiden's lines. It's due tomorrow morning, so we really need to film it today. And I don't know why or how the week went away so quick. But, yeah, we really need to sit and work on this and get it accomplished. My back is hurting so bad, y'all. It's, like, gotten worse. And I'm like, what did I do to make my back hurt so bad? So, I'm going to be on this heating pad for a while, which is totally fine with me. We did straighten the house up a little when we got home. But now it's time to work. Aiden, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go over his lines and then hopefully get it filmed no. shortly. So, the kids are outside playing, or I should say Aiden is playing right now. Charlie's upset. Dad's outside with the kids. Briley is right there. Here she is. I don't know what she's doing. Doing something on her phone. And she's got on her little ankle brace because, like I said, her ankle's been bothering her. And, yeah, that's about all going on. We did get Aiden's audition accomplished. That is done. So, that's one thing checked off the list. Mom is back on her heating pad. And honestly, it's gotten so bad, it's like taking my breath away. I really, really, really hope it's better by tomorrow, and I still am puzzled what happened, but it's all good. We must carry on. Kayla's over here on the phone trying to get some dinner ordered because Mom didn't cook. What's new? What's new? She better stop. <laughs> I've been cooking. I know. We've done really good lately. I have. We usually haven't. We have not been eating out as much. No, not but hardly. But tonight is just one of those nights, guys. It's cold outside. And we're all cold, and we want some hot pizza. So. <laughs> so Kayla is going to try to get us some pizza delivered. And, yeah. So, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. Leave us a comment down below, and we'll see you guys in our next vlog.